All right, guys, we are, we are down to the wire, uh, running out of time like usual, so I'll just go through the rest of them um, and uh, to try to get them done in time. Here we have a pale dermis, and the collagen bundles are pushed apart and replaced by mucin or mixoid material. See, when we get closer, we can see it's very pale in this case and washed out, um, as often happens as the slides age, like I told you, but it's bluish mucin, and if we did a mucin stain, uh, or probably if we just cut a new H&E from the block that's not as old, we would see the nice blue mucin. But you can tell here that it's pushed the uh, dermal collagen apart. Sometimes if it's an older slide or a pale slide, you could also wonder, is it edema? Actually, edema and mucin can look pretty similar microscopically, I think. And uh, here uh, you can tell it's like just a little a little tiny uh, nodule of it microscopically. It's so small that clinically this probably just looked like a single papule. And you can see there's also a little collarette a little uh, collarette where there's an eccrine duct and some elongated epithelium that's scooping down under the lesion. Sometimes this will have that. But if clinically this is a small papule and that's all we have and microscopically we see increased mucin, uh, this is called a uh, focal dermal mucinosis or focal cutaneous mucinosis. I do not know why this happens. It's just incidental uh, little papule or a little microscopic um, collection of mucin that is is localized and um, it is not associated with any other disease to my knowledge. If you just gave me a punch here and told me it was from the pretibial area, then I'd tell you this would be great for pretibial uh, myxedema if it was, you know, nodules or diffuse plaques on the shins. Okay, so the clinical really matters here. All right, the one thing this sometimes can also get confused with is a, a cutaneous myxoma or also known as superficial angiomyxoma. I have other videos about that. The difference there is those are usually bigger. They usually go deeper into the dermis and even to, into the subcutis. And as the alternative name uh, angiomyxoma implies, they usually have more prominent vessels. Sometimes they also have scattered um, uh, neutrophils scattered in the middle of them or uh, cystic uh, hair follicles or sweat ducts. Not every case has all of those things though. So the biggest thing to me is if it's a tiny little papule clinically, it's probably just a uh, focal dermal mucinosis, focal cutaneous mucinosis. Occasionally I can't tell or I don't have good clinical info and I'll say it's dermal mucin collection and um, that it could, it could fit for focal dermal mucinosis or it could be the surface of a cutaneous myxoma depending on the clinical. And and, and it doesn't matter, it's benign either way. Uh, only difference is that cutaneous myxomas do have a tendency to recur locally if they're incompletely excised, but they're still benign. And occasionally they can be associated with carny complex, particularly if they're multiple or if they're on the eyelids, the ears, or the nipples. But otherwise, uh, in other sites, cutaneous myxoma is benign and not usually problematic. All right. But in this case, it was a small papule, so it was focal dermal mucinosis.